okay now once you've uh, this now it takes you through actually getting into the meet uh, application and uh, conducting your class so since i in the previous tutorial i showed you how to create or schedule the class using google meet and i have a link already and remember we schedule this to be every friday at 2 pm so assuming that it's friday at 2 pm i can click on the link uh, i'll have to switch my account because i do not want to log in using so i'll click on that and uh, you can join with camera or with microphone so let me just switch off everything and i'll click on join now so notice uh, the meet is already in session meaning students will now have to start logging in i'll use another device to be able to log in so that you as a lecturer can get to see how you need to admit students so let me just use another application So the code, the meeting code are uh, the 10 characters right after the meet.google.com, the forward slash. So uh, like in my case right now, KJO-FIID-NBF uh, is my meeting code. So some students might call and ask, what is a meeting code? So um, you'll get to see that. Uh, Okay, I sorry. I need to switch user. Let me just log in as someone uh, as a different user. So again, uh, as I mentioned, the meeting code is KJO. So the the characters actually the 10 characters right after uh, the dot com and the forward slash are uh, is what the meeting code is so i uh, the student will just have to type in that kjo dash f i i d dash n b f and uh, they will be asked to join now you'll notice uh, on my screen right now uh, a different user is trying so this is a different account of mine my personal email and i'm trying to account uh, to get in and i will have to request to be admitted so i click on admit and you'll notice that uh, so we are already two members um so I will mute on this side. Uh, so fine. So you'll get to see the, the membership, the people who are in your class. Now, one of the facilities or one of the plugins that Google Meet has provided is something known as uh, Meet Attendance. Uh, for you to be able to get to Meet Attendance, you can just Google it actually. Just type in Meet Attendance. And it's a plugin that... Uh, it's an extension that you can be able to add to your Chrome or to your uh, Firefox or to whichever web browser that you're using. So in my case here, I'm using Chrome. So you'll get to see this and already it's there, but uh, so you'll have uh, add a button known as add to Chrome and uh, that will be added. So you'll get to see it added over here. So this is the icon. So it's an apple with a tick on it and you will get to see meet attendance. So going back to my meet, uh, notice if I want to now pick because it's been activated. So when I click on meet attendance, notice it's activated right now. It's, it's uh, red in color. And uh, every time I click on people, so you, uh, this is the interface of Google Meet. I'll, in a short while, I'll show you how to present. So you can click on uh, the attendance here to see who the attendance are and you'll notice automatically it's picking uh, the attendance. So if you click here, 
notice it actually takes you to so these have just had a series of meetings over the last couple of weeks but you'll get to see uh, let me just scroll up to today's meeting notice uh, this is a session that I'm having right now so you'll notice who my attendees were and every time you click on that uh, so I can click on chat and I click on people again and uh, when I do that and click on uh, this particular icon, it shows me and I can always keep refreshing this. And the beauty about this is that it will keep showing you the attendance at different time intervals of your class session. So notice I took this at 1.44 and again I did it at 1.45. So as a lecturer, you, can, you just need to click that icon here for who the people are within your class and it will automatically pick so if you do that like every 10 minutes it will automatically save it into that google sheet which of course is created by the time you click on that icon it shows up here so it keeps appending that as you can see i've had my sessions i've had the online training sessions for staff all the way to the students to various other meetings that i've attended throughout the week uh, and up to today. So notice the three times I've just connected. I just clicked on people and it has actually picked the different people in my meeting. Now from here, I need to let's say present something so I can present it a window, uh, an entire screen itself or even just a Chrome tab. So for example, my online class, my Chrome tab. So I'll select that. And you'll notice it actually shows up. Uh, this is what will be shared. So if I click on Google Meet itself, uh, right now you might have to right click here, presenting you, so that you get to see what I'm actually presenting. But uh, you cannot continue presenting on Meet. Instead, you have to go to the Chrome tab where you maybe want to uh, discuss or demonstrate to the students. Uh, so this is now another tab that you are using. Uh, and this is now I'm back to meet. So once I'm done presenting that, I can click on stop presenting. And for example, I want to present uh, a window. Let me just open a Word document. Um, So I maybe I am that word document. So for me to be able to present that, uh, so I'll come back to it, click on present now and select a window. And it will show me the various applications that are open on my computer. So I can click on, let's say, status report over here and click on share. And you'll notice uh, my word document is open, yes. But if I go to my meet and uh, I'll click on the icon next to my uh, profile and click on it and you'll get to see what I'm presenting. So, but of course, as I said earlier, you cannot present from the Google Meet application. You have to go back to the window uh, for you to continue uh, reporting and talking about your presentation. And so what happens is that every time you're scrolling this, uh, your students actually can get to see what you are sharing. So back to the Meet window, once you're done, you can always click on Stop Presenting. And uh, in the middle of this, uh, remember at the start of it, you can always even click on Record Meeting. And what this does is that it allows you to uh, record your session. And you'll get to see that here. Now, the beauty about this is that we have unlimited space in G Suite. Uh, and this will be able to, this allows you to record information and it will be stored into your Google Drive. And uh, right now it's actually recording. And uh, once I'm done with that, I can, so I can click on stop recording now. Again, there's a shortcut, uh, the shortcut uh, or more menu options over here. 
and I can click on stop recording. And it will stop recording. So what happens is that it will actually post to your Google Drive a video or, or a file of what you have done. Now, in addition to that, if you want to view the the layout, I mean, you want to view the users, uh, ideally you're not going to see each one of them, but you can change the layout. It has a tile layout where you can actually see who the users are. In my case right now, we're only two, so that's why you won't get to see that. But uh, could we have had more users, you'd actually get to see all of a tile for each of the users, and it makes it easier for you also to get to uh, see each of the users and be able to even have to get to see how they're reacting to various things you're presenting as the lecturer. Uh, so once you're done with that, then of course you need to end your meeting. And uh, anytime you move your mouse point over there, uh, you have the three buttons. Remember this is to turn on your microphone. Uh, I'll, I'll switch that off and this to share your camera and uh, you'll be able to see yourself on the top right corner over here. You can pin yourself and pinning yourself means that you'll get to see yourself instead. You can uh, unpin yourself so that you get to see the other users of the class. And once you're done with that and you're done with class, you can always click on leave call and this ends your meeting or your class session for the day. So uh, that's briefly about how you can use Google Meet to also conduct your classes uh, in addition to the big blue button facility. Uh, and remember, as I mentioned earlier, Google Meet is a facility uh, that is already integrated for us Camo users because we already subscribed to G Suite. Uh, which has several of these applications available for us. So I think that should end the tutorial. Thank you.